stream. No, we weren't. Who's gonna check? Who's gonna check the Twitch VOD? Anyway, everyone's gonna check the VOD here for Carflow versus Bon, a resident Duck Hunt main, and it looks like Carflow has been going uh, all cloud today. Yep, he's been he's been in the process of trying to switch mains, right? Because Roy just kind of isn't doing it in this meta, has a lot of weaknesses, is and Cloud, you know, Cloud's 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 it, right? Cloud's, Cloud's that, it all around Cloud's great that there. guy. Yeah, one hundred percent that guy. But you know who else is that guy? Carflow. Oh, Quan as well, yes. Quan oh. with the Duck Hunt duo has always eaten Kazuya or no, Wario or no. At the end of this day, she's got that dog in her and Carflow has not been able to stop it. Now, I don't know, ooh. Something that Fawn was talking about, like, outside the stream. They are like, yeah, you know, I feel like everybody has been, like, all the top players are trying to get, like, other characters. And I'm like, oh gosh, the counterpick meta, it's coming. But I think Carflow should have more confidence in the Roy. Top five character, easily. I... Okay, Swiss. Yeah? We'll, we'll talk about that one afterwards, my well, friend. And you can kill at 60, a but jab on shield is safe. So Come can on. half the characters in this game, my friend. Ah, that's fair. Oh, no. All right, Carflow finally able to make it back. Really good with these recoveries of Cloud. Not an easy character to get back with, especially against a character that just has all the tools to keep you off. I like the parry no. attempt and the crouch underwards after the first hit to try to avoid it. Fawn, though, getting a little too cheeky and Carflow able to capitalize. Now, though, the can conversion, Fawn does not drop those. Utilizing the cover space, the can twist is online to occupying ledge, but Carflow able to make it back just a little too quick for that setup to take effect. And so now it's just Fawn trying to close out the stock, stay in this one because, well, Duck Hunt could just die here. I mean, yes, but will Fawn let that happen? Duck Hunter can die, but can Fawn die? Maybe. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, Swiss, I would not speak too soon because Cloud is an expert at sending you off the bottom and stabbing and carving you to smithereens with his Buster Sword, but not if he's getting caught in a game of Pong. The retro action is intense, and Fawn is going to carry it all the way to a win. I mean, what could you do at that point? You recovered off the ground with the gunman, with the cannon in the air. That's, that's just your stock. But Fawn is having a hard time getting back. Carflow able to... Nope. Finally gets back. A nice get-up attack. Ooh, no. I like the pause, and I like the reset in the second can rather than opting for the up air there. You give up guaranteed damage, but you have such an extra... Uh, upside that you take it at that low a percent. Now you're waiting for limit to go away and Carflow trying to call it out has to burn and not able to find his mark. You're able to set it up but can the wrong way. It's not often you see Fawn make a mistake like that. All right, and Carflow to trying Carflow to get a dash attack, an easy kill, fishing for those back airs, and finally just powers through everything to get that kill. And the limit online? Uh oh, I was gonna say you can hear it now. The crowd is chanting one more stock, my friend. But all that is running through Carflow's mind is how can I find this hit? You have Fawn at ledge. This is where you want to be. You're looking for the down air, swinging for the fences, but Fawn needs to lock this one down. Duck Hunt might not kill you to 160, but you can't let that happen. I'm surprised she didn't set up a down air there off the hit. It's stun extension, but just she respects Carflow too much to go for that one. Yeah, it's really cool to see that the backer actually beat out the Clay Pigeon, keeping that jump, managing to. Ooh, going all the way to the other the side. The tipper back air there to reset the can angle and cover that space. Such a beautiful decision. Fun, fun collapsed like they were holding their breath that entire last stock. I get it. The nerves can be a lot when going up against Carflow. Especially with how many Xenos he's won recently. God, just just win after win after it's like, win. I feel like I see win, win, second. Win, win, second. Win, win, second. From He hasn't been able to get the three-peat. But I feel like he's gotten the back-to-back -back wins like I think, four separate times. I think what happens is Carflow will get those back-to-backs when like Mr. E is in here. Or a Zomba. Carflow... Carflow's had some luck there with brackets. But, uh, you know, this is not the takeaway from this It's still impressive skill. to be beating Numbers and Fawn and... Yes. No, defeating Fawn in bracket, defeating John? One can dream. So I feel you'll get there one day, I believe. One day. Thank you.
need to quit my job first. <laughs> <laughs> okay, moving over to town and city where all these folks are unemployed and hopelessly in debt to Tom Cook. <laughs> we are getting into game two. Fawn trying to not let Carflow force a game so here. Carflow wanting to show you exactly why he has been the fall season king of Xeno so far. Oh, summer, spring, but uh, Fawn looking to take that title away. Making a statement there with that first stock. And able to stay up the reset, but the can too far away. The ping not going to hit the can into Carvalho, who's then able to find the reversal. Disaster strikes as now Carvalho tries to get it, but once again, the hit lag from Can able to prevent Fawn from getting hit by the down arrow. Get back to stage, but still not able to get their feet on the ground. Not able to reset neutral. The pace of Carvalho's play, regardless of which character he plays with, is Went impressive, so as is that cross slash angle. That was beautiful. I do think that they're taking a little more damage from Cam than they want, but they're winning these trades as long as they can keep up that pressure. But, but it's all that about that chip damage, right? With characters like this that want those setups, want those traps, like Snake, like Duck Hunt, right? It's all about forcing the, tra the favorable trade interactions. And that is what Fawn is doing. She doesn't want to get hit by Cam in an ideal world, right? But when she does, just like there, she's more than set up to get the upside of it. Which is why you see this percent gap being what it is, even with the amount of trades we've had. Right. Carflow just kind of weaving in and out, but getting hit by that can once again. That long sword able to hit, but oh, wow. And the mix, she looked for everything other than neutral air, then the delayed neutral air to find the hit into the can she'd just been setting up. Fawn is playing 9,000 IQ here, here to try and take this stock. And Are you going to see this again? See Jesus! <laughs> What do you do? There's nowhere Duck Hunt, there's nothing Duck Hunt can in yeah. that scenario. And it's hard to, as a Cloud player, right, to go for that because you're so scared. But um, I mean, it just lasts so long I and exactly. long. I mean, yeah, like, can they recover high? Sure, but Cloud can cover that quite easily. And that's one of the things I love about Carflow's Cloud, as, you know, compared to his Roy as well, is that he brings that Roy mentality of no fear, no mercy. Like he's a Cobra Kai member. I think that's into, just, I think it's just a car flow thing. No I was gonna fear, say, no mercy. Yeah, no fear, no mercy. It's Cobra Kai and it's car flow and it's also the way he plays Smash Bros. So Cobra Kai, never never did watch the new series, but I always remember him as the guy who was the villain in the karate kid. Yep. So is Carflow the villain of this bracket? Well, I, I mean the, way the show plays. is a whole redemption arc for the for your for Oh. Yeah, you know you're a bad guy if you need like three seasons to have a redemption. I arc. got some news for you about how many seasons that show is. It's more than no. three. There's like five or six. Are you still having the redemption arc? No, it, it ended in like the first one. Oh, then what's the whole show about then after the redemption? Nothing. Everyone else. The show about nothing. Well, the show is about what's going to happen in game three <laughs> between Fawn and Carflow. Oh, I'm here for so that. Right. <laughs> and we got at least one more season of that. So what do you see here? I think one this more was... Season. We've got one more episode. Oh, only one more episode? Man, the good shows never get renewed. No, but the best ones have the best conclusions, and that we are certainly in store for, as once again, this is the story, right? It's just the spacing on the coverage that Carflow was able to provide is just, like, where do you go? Yeah, what and that clipped him right at the ledge. Hello! <laughs> also, thank you, production. My my tablet was out of sync with the with the stream, so I got a little tricky there. Yeah, something that you have to notice is uh, you'll uh, just have to look there and kind of do it like that. But anyway, moving on to the last game. Back to small battlefields. Much safer than town and city. Not going to have a lot of platforms to shark under. Not gonna, but then again, Fawn isn't going to have a lot of uh, options to kind of set up these things. It's a much smaller stage. And this is a recent implementation of Fawn's game plan. has been these backers in neutral, in the scrap situations, where either they charge and they get hit by Tipper Backer, which is one of Duck Hunt's strongest aerials, or you hit Can with it, and then it, the Can bounces back and they're caught between you and a Can. Yes, Fawn wasn't expecting just uh, throwing out that projectile. Taking that first stock, Carflow here to try to keep up this momentum, not risk anything mm -hmm. too big. And, and and so Fawn's response is to just create a great big flaming ball of fire. She keeps it going now like Johnny Cash and keeping that pressure on. But Carflow likewise is not letting her get back to ground. She just has to use the gunman to take the body block as Carflow tries to combo off the can for the spike of the sentry, but not going to find it. it. Right now, Swiss, it's just all about keeping the discipline calm and collected. 
He has done that a few times with the down air in the first game and then right there actually catching Fawn with it. Or even in the last game, we had uh, Carflo actually trying to get the can. Ooh, you know what? The can uh, give it and the can take it away. Especially when it's not yours. Karma yeah. coming back. And this is going to be where Fawn went, right? We, I was about to say, looks for an early stock, looking for it again, trying to find the coast to coast the other way. She does not want to have to fight from this percent deficit. Cloud, but when Carflo just can hold forward at you and not be that scared, <gasps> just it held it. What a read. Fine. Beautiful read. Just like, <laughs> that, was, that was some Ganondorf stuff right there. I can hold up Smash. All right, like, but what are we going to see? Carvalho's play style is, is a compilation of many forms of do it, you won't, do it, yeah. you won't, do it, you won't, but you know who will? I will. Yeah. Carflo not going to risk getting an edge guarded here, though. Just going for racking up damage, the forward air. And what is Fawn going to do once Limit is on deck? Well, if you're Fawn, you're trying not to give him an opening. I don't even, didn't even see. It looked like the Clay Pigeon Ooh. on platform. Yes, the Clay the clay pigeon Damn saved there. their life. Mm -hmm. Alright, really good setup here. Mm -hmm. Where's Carful gonna go? Finally jumps over everything. Not a good position to be in though as Cloud. No. no if you're if you're falling, you're okay taking that because that back air would have killed you. Mm -hmm. And so instead you hit the can, you reset the scenario, you get extra time and resources back. This man is just gonna spam back air, isn't he? Yep. Well why would you do anything else? Fair. Alright, this is doable, but very difficult. Carflow at 0% and Fawn already at 142. They need some really good setups here. Yep, Maybe not. No. I was going to say, and playing like numbers at ledge, but yeah, the can hitbox extension. And if you saw Fawn's face after that one, confused. Even she was a little confused. Like, huh? We're going to have to see a replay on that in slow motion if you could do the honors. Now, let's take a look at what happens here, my friend. Yes. Th we've got the so the gun is at. Oh, it's the can. Yep, it's the can. Right. If we zoom, if in. We zoom on in and bring it down. That's it. Oh, yep. and it's that the lasted hitbox. so long. It's the hitbox. It's the hit lag extension. Right. So it hit it. Oh. And then it lasts like, God, is that like 10 more, 20 more Sorry. frames? Goodness. Yeah, I mean, Cloud Back Air lasts forever. Like, look how long this thing, right? It hits yeah. here and then is all the way down and still active and barely, right? It hits there. The swing is there. Yeah, if we there. can go in, down here just in a bit. In 25 frames. Oh, my gosh. But Swiss, the yeah. whole move covers this much space, right? Mm -hmm. In 25 frames, it moved about that much. That's an absurd amount of activity, mm -hmm. right? And that's because it hit the can. Yeah. What? How does that happen? All right. But you know what? Uh, does look like it's going to be it for me tonight. No, 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 no. no. It's going to oh, be I, it for oh, me I, tonight. Oh, I apologize. My I, friend? I saw there it said Caster Swap. Yes. All right. But it's not. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> you forget who you are, my friend. I do. This is I your do. home, and we are simply visitors. Oh, no, no. You're, you're a New Yorker now. Come on. Yeah, but you can take me out of New England. You can't take the New England out of me. Anyways, on that bombshell, we are going to swap over. I'm Ritual. You can find me on Ritual Cast. You should also go check out Swiss on at Arnie Hermes on Twitter. But yep. he'll still be sticking around, so I'll let him plug that a little bit later. All right. Don't go gotcha anywhere, bit. folks.